guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Let's start with creating a new composition, name it as trailer title. For this composition I will set time duration to, just 5 seconds, remaining everything will be same. Perfect, now let's add the text layers, here I will add 3 different layers of text. Here I am using Montserrat font family, font style to semi bold. Increase the font size. Let's change the text layer to all caps. Align the text to center. Perfect. Now let's add the subtext. Here I will add two subtext layers. For this text layer, I will set font style to, regular, reduce the font size. Align the text to the center. Now adjust the text layer position, perfect, we will do the same for other subtext. Change font style to regular. Reduce the font size. Align the text to center. Now select all layers, pre-compose them. Name this composition as title. Now let's create a new solid layer. I will name it as edge. For this solid layer, in effects and preset, search for fill. Add it to the solid layer. Now select the ellipse tool. For this solid layer, we need to create mask. Create mask as shown, you can create it of any size, and shape. Perfect. Now let's animate them one by one. For mask one, at start of the timer line, create keyframe for mask expansion, reduce value till the shape gets hidden. Now at end of the timer line, increase the value as shown. We will do the same for all the mask, for mask 2. Create keyframe for mask expansion, reduce mask expansion value. Now at end. Increase the expansion value. Here I will fast forward this. Perfect. Now for this edge layer, in effects and preset, search for rough and edges. Add it to the solid layer. Now for rough and edges, set border to 150. Set edge sharpness to 0.7. You can see the preview. Now for this title composition, change track mat to, alpha mat edge. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now select both layers, pre-compose them. I will name it as main title. Perfect. Now let's create a new solid, this will be our background layer, 
Here you can also use your video or any other image file if you want to use it as background. Now in effects and preset, search for fill. Add it to the solid layer, here you can set any color of your choice. For the background, you can also add the ramp effect, if you want to set two different color or, if want to have gradient background. Place it below title composition, perfect. Now for main title composition, add fill effect. Set color to black, this will be our shadow layer, so set color accordingly. Now in effects and preset, search for CC radial fast blur. Now add it to the background layer. For fast blur, let's adjust the center to the top. Set amount to 80. Depending on your text layer, you can reduce the amount if you want it. Perfect. Now let's create duplicate of this main title composition. For duplicate composition, let's remove this radial fast blur effect. Here you can set color of your choice for the text layer. Here I will set it to white. You can see the preview. Now let's change this title composition to 3D. Now let's create a new camera. Now create null object. Change null to 3D. Parent camera to null object. For null, press P to bring up position. Now at start, create keyframe for position. Now at end of the timer line. Reduce the Z position value as shown. You can see the preview. Perfect, here our clean title is ready. You can also animate the background layer. To do that, for background layer, in effects and preset, search for linear wipe. Add it to the background layer. Now at near about 2 seconds, create keyframe for transition completion. Now at start, change transition completion to 100%. You can see the preview, here you can also change the direction, to change the direction of transition, you just need to change the wipe angle. Now adjust the feather amount. You can see the preview. Here you can change the angle to get different output. Here you can also add the footage if you want. Or if you have. Let's see how to do it. Hide this background layer. Now let's import the media file. Perfect. Now add it to the timer line. Here you can adjust the footage file. You can see the preview. You can also apply the wipe transition or effect to this media file. You just need to copy this linear wipe effect from the background layer. Make sure you are at the start of the timeline. Now paste it on the media file. You can see the preview. Here if you want. You can adjust the opacity of the background layer, here I will set it to near about 45%. Now let's see the complete preview. Perfect. Here our clean cinematic title is created. Similarly you can create multiple titles, and create your trailer. Or intro. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial, see you next week with another awesome tutorial.